Hey guys, I just wanted to do another tag video. This was by Kimberly's Journey 2. She posted this on her channel, and it's just the pregnancy tag video. I thought it'd be really fun to do, so I'm gonna do that. I'm sorry about my hair, it's kinda thrown up and whatever today, so anyway. This is the pregnancy tag video. Um, question number one, what do you wish someone would have told you about pregnancy? So, um, I wish that somebody would have told me how tired and how exhausted you get and just, um, like, yeah, just how tired you are and how exhausted you are and how hungry you get. And especially with baby number two. With baby number one, you know, it's fine because you can take naps and stuff. But when you're having your second one, you can't really afford to take a lot of naps because you have another child. And so especially with your second child, just how exhausted and how tired you get and how hungry you get. Um, and also how hard it is to sleep near the end of your pregnancy and how hard it is to get comfortable near the end of your pregnancy because you just feel kicking all the time and stuff like that. So anyway, yeah, just how exhausted and uncomfortable and tired you can get when you're pregnant. Um, what do you wish someone would have told you about labor, labor and delivery? Um, oh my gosh, how hungry you get when you're in labor. Um, my hospital, I don't know about your guys' hospitals, but my hospital doesn't let you eat um, until after the baby's born. Like when you're admitted, you're, all you're allowed to have is ice chips and suckers. Um, nothing like liquid and nothing like actual food. Just like suckers and ice chips are all you're allowed to eat and popsicles. So stuff like that. And so it's just, you get so, so hungry. You know, with uh, Aubrey, I was in labor for like 18 hours. With Connor, it was like 20 something hours. And so you get really, really hungry. Um, and also how much work it is and um, just how exhausted you can get and also just how long you have to wait. Like, I mean, your labor might go really fast and that's awesome, but man, I was in labor for, I had to get induced for both of mine, so I was in labor forever, and it's just so much waiting. You just want to meet the baby already, and it's just so frustrating because you have to wait so long. But um, yeah, that's what I wish someone told me. Um, how, how did you feel when you found out you were pregnant? Oh my gosh, I was so overjoyed, both of my pregnancies, with Connor and with Aubrey. We were both just so ecstatic, so overjoyed, and just so emotional, just so happy. I mean, it's just such an awesome thing. We were we were planning on both of them, so we just, we were so excited and overjoyed and happy and very, very excited. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, how did you tell daddy? So my husband was actually, um, I waited until my husband was home to take both of my pregnancy tests with Connor and with Aubrey because I wanted him there with me. And so, um, and he told me not to take him either. He's like, don't you take a pregnancy test until I get home. Because he wanted to be there too. And so, he was there both times that I took the pregnancy test. And he was right there with me. And just, he was so excited. So overjoyed and so happy. Um, we both wanted kids. So, yeah. Very, very excited and very happy. Um, what did you feel when you delivered emotionally and physically? Um, emotionally, it's just... There is nothing like seeing your baby come out and like just seeing your baby for the first time and like hearing that first cry and just everything is just so amazing. It's just so wonderful. You just you can't help but think this is like the most incredible thing that has ever happened, you know? It's just such an overjoying, emotional, just wonderful experience to just see your baby for the first time and just to see that an actual person was inside of your stomach because before then it was just a big belly, you know, but to actually see the baby, you know, in person that that baby is inside of you and to hear them cry for the first time, that is just the most amazing feeling in the world. Um, and then physically, um, I was very sore and I was very exhausted. Um, I mean, it takes a lot to have a baby and Connor was born at 1.35 p.m. And so I had been up that whole entire night. I got admitted like the night before and I didn't get much sleep, you know. I, I was up that whole entire night with contra with contractions and so and he wasn't born until 1.35. And so I was absolutely beat. With Aubrey it wasn't as bad because she was born at 7.30 at night so I was able to sleep a little bit the night before. So it wasn't too bad. But yeah, you're very exhausted and just kind of sore um, physically. Um... Let's see, do, do, do. how long after you delivered did it take to feel normal normal physically again? 
Um, let's see, for, for Connor, it took me a lot longer. For your first pregnancy, it's always going to take you a lot longer than your previous pregnancies because it's the first time that you've ever had to do that and it's the first time that your body's ever had to do that. With Connor, it took me a month to two months to really get back to feeling normal again and just to really become not as sore. Um, with Aubrey, it took... I think maybe like three weeks or so. I mean, it was really a lot faster with Aubrey. I felt so good after like two or three weeks with her. With Connor, it took a good month or so. So yeah, um, it didn't take too long with Aubrey. I felt so great after Aubrey with my second one. I think it's just because I had him so close together. My body was so used to it already from Connor that it didn't take much time at all. So I was very glad about that. Um, what was, okay, do do do. What is the best thing about being a mom? Oh my goodness, I don't even know how to answer this question because there's just so many. Um, just seeing them grow and develop and seeing their first laugh and their first smile and the first time they roll over and the first step they take, just every single milestone is what is amazing about being a mom. Just seeing your kids grow, seeing your kids develop, seeing your kids interact like and say new words and do new things. I just, I love everything about it. I love being able to just spend time with Connor and just play with him and just do toys with him and show him what things are and he's starting to talk a lot more now and say more things and so it's just so amazing and rewarding to see that and Aubrey is just starting to talk so much like Koo and um, and she's just starting to like laugh and giggle and get so excited over things and like knows her hands and her feet and it's just every single age is just so fun and I just I love being a mom I love everything about it there's nothing that I don't like I mean yeah there's temper tantrums sometimes and um, sometimes there's little meltdowns but every single thing about being a mom is so rewarding and I would not change it for anything um, what is the most unexpected thing about being a new mom um, when I had Connor I think the most unexpected thing about being a first-time mom is you don't get to do what you want to do when you want to do it. Like, before you have a baby, you know, you and your husband could go to a late movie. You and your husband could just take off and go somewhere, go on a road trip, go to Vegas, go anywhere. I mean, you could just take off and do whatever you wanted and not have to worry about anyone but yourselves. But when a baby comes into that, you know, you can't just take off when you want to take off and you can't do things when you want to do them sometimes because your babies have nap schedules and they have feeding schedules and when you go in a car on a long car trip, you have to stop every once in a while and feed a di change a diaper and feed a baby. I mean, it's not as it was before. Before, you could just take off and do anything you wanted to do. But when you have a baby, you really just, you have to do things at a certain time. You can't do things super late, maybe. And if you want to go on a road trip, you know, there's a lot more stops you have to take. So just kind of have to take into consideration that you won't be able to do what you want to do when you do it, I guess. When you want to do it, I guess. Um, you have to be a little bit more flexible on stuff like that. But as I said, you know, that's just one thing that you have to give up. And the reward is just so much greater. So to me, it wasn't a big deal at all. But that was one thing that I did have to adapt to after my having my first one because it's a little bit different. You know, it's it's different. You can't just go to your friend's house for like a late game night or whatever because you do have a child and you do have to put your child's needs and considerations ahead of your own. So that is a little bit um, difficult in the beginning to kind of adjust to. But like I said, totally worth it. Um, do you miss being pregnant? Yes and no. I absolutely loved feeling my baby kick inside of me. I loved feeling baby movements and um, baby hiccups and just everything like that. I thought that that was just like the most incredible feeling in the world. But um, no, because you get really uncomfortable. You get really exhausted. You can't sleep. Like near the end of your pregnancy, ugh, it is the worst. Like I loved the second trimester. I hated the first trimester because you're really sick, you don't feel good, you're nauseous, you're throwing up, and your third trimester I didn't like because you're just really big, you are you feel huge, you feel exhausted, you feel worn out, you don't sleep very well at night, but the second trimester is perfect because that's when you're not so big yet and you're able to feel your baby move and you're able to just kind of bond with your baby I guess and be really happy because you're over your morning sickness. And so yes and no, mostly I really don't miss it, <laughs> but I do miss um, I do miss the kicking and the movements and stuff that you do feel from inside of you when you're pregnant. That is pretty dang awesome and amazing. I loved that feeling. Um, how many children do you want? How do you want to space them apart and why? So me and my husband, we don't want any more than four kids. We, we're not really sure how many we want yet, but I just don't want more than four. So anywhere from... 
to what we have now to four. I do see us having um, a few more, and I don't really want three because it's an odd number. So I see us having about four kids. I think that that's a really good number, and um, I would love to have four kids. So probably four kids is what we'll have. Um, how do you want to space them apart? I don't want them farther than two years apart. I want to have them within two years apart because I just, I love my kids being, I just, I love the thought of your kids being just so close in age. And I like the thought of that because, you know, I want to be able to do things with my grandkids and stuff. And I don't want to be so old when I have, when I have kids, I just kind of want to get it um, over with and have them really close together. And then I can just raise them all and they can all grow up around the same age and do the same kind of things and um, be really good friends and stuff. I don't know. I just like my kids close. I don't want them farther than two years apart. <laughs> For my next one, I think I will definitely wait till Aubrey is at least a year old to start trying though because it's a lot of work when you get pregnant and you have a seven month old. <laughs> so um, we'll probably wait till she's at least a year, maybe even a year and a half to start trying. So they might be just a little over two years apart, but I don't know. Somewhere between that time. I think two years apart is a really good gap, but we're not sure if we're even going to have any more. We just kind of have to think about it. We just don't want more than four, so we'll see. But if we do decide to have any more, they'll be um, within two years apart. Um, and why? I already said why. I just want them close together. I want them to be able to grow up and be involved in each other's lives and have um, each other as a friend and, I don't know, just stuff like that. <laughs> um, is it hard to see how fast they grow up and how do you handle this? Oh dear. Um, yes, it's hard. It's so hard. And I don't think that it gets any easier. Um, Connor, like, it just seems like I just had him and he's a year, he's 20 months old, you know? And I'm like, in four more months, he'll be two. That, oh, man, I cried at Connor's first birthday. Like, I was very excited and very, um, very happy that he is, was one and he was doing things and learning things and growing. But at the same time, I cried because I'm like, oh he's not little anymore you know he's just I mean he's still little but not in the same way and it's hard to see them grow and I think I'll probably cry at his second birthday and I'll probably cry at Aubrey's first birthday and you know every birthday I'll probably just get kind of emotional because um yeah it's hard to see them grow up but it's also amazing at the same time because they do hit milestones they do hit um different marks in their lives where you're like oh my gosh I can't believe they're doing this how awesome you know and um you know, whatever we say, Connor will start mimicking us. Like, we'll say a word and he'll just say it. And so we have to really watch what we say. And um, it's amazing to me that he catches on so quickly. It's just, it's so incredible how fast they grow and how smart they are. They are, oh my gosh, they're so smart. And they're such little stinkers. Like, <laughs> Connor, the other day, I put him in timeout and <laughs> he started hitting. And so I put him in timeout and I told him that he had to be in timeout. And he started laughing at me when he was sitting in the chair. He was just sitting there laughing. And oh gosh, I was just like, what do I do now? You know, it's kind of, it kind of makes you laugh because they're just like, they're such little stinkers when they're toddlers. But, um, it's just, you know, and Aubrey, oh gosh, she's just the cutest little thing. It's just, it's hard to see them grow and it's hard to see them just get older and bigger. But at the same time, it's a really, really good thing because you're just so thankful that they're growing and they're developing the way they should. And they're hitting all their milestones and they're hitting all their marks and they're doing things that they need to do. So... Yes, it is hard, but it is also necessary, and it is also a happy thing. So, anyway, um, that is all the questions. So that was my um, pregnancy tag video. And if you haven't done this, I very think, I very strongly, I very think, <laughs> I very strongly think that you should because it is so much fun. Um, so I tag all of you people out there that have not done this. Please do it. It's so fun. And I will talk to y'all later. See ya.